Hey guys, quick note on what's happening in the real estate market in terms of buyers. A new study just came out from NAR and they found that the biggest share of buyers in our marketplace right now is first time home buyers and it's way up from where it was last year at the same time. The reason is buyers are taking advantage of these used interest rates. Let me show you a couple of numbers. I'm going to share my screen with you and just look at how impressive these numbers are. So last year at this time, there was about 32% of the entire, entire buyer pool was first time home buyers. Today, that's already ramped up to 36% and it looks like it's gonna keep trending upward. Why? Buyers can literally buy a home for less than what it costs to rent. So as long as they're still working, they're gonna look at this as a, like a prime opportunity. If they've ever wanted to time the market, this is the right time. On the flip side, you can see what's happened with investors. Investors have kind of exited the market. Last year, at this time, 17% of all the market was in buyers or investors. And today, that's dropped all the way to 10%. So look at that disparity. Where is the market for us? Where are we focusing our energy? One of the areas we should focus is on uh, buyers and first time home buyers specifically. Now, one thing we can do to get them excited about this is to look at interest rates over time. We go back in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the aughts, the 10s. Interest rates have been way higher than they are today. Right now, it's about 3.24% and it's probably going to trend down a little bit lower than that. So we need to get on the phone. We need to start making some calls. Now, there's three areas where we can make some phone calls really quickly that will unlock some business. One is if you go backwards and look at people you've sold homes to before, let's say three or four years back and you make some calls and you simply say, hey, I'm calling, just touching base with you, see how you're doing. And because you bought your house three or four years ago, you know, you probably got in at a higher interest rate than what's available today. So the first thing I want to ask you is, have you thought about a refi now? Interest rates are hitting 50 year lows. So I got a great lender I can connect you to. And by the way, do you know anybody that's a renter now that should be a homeowner? So that's one call that you could be making to your sphere of influence. Something else you could do is do a post on social media. Where you're highlighting the fact that right now is the best time in history to buy a home. It really is. So you put out a post, show a few starter homes, condos, townhouses, things that are people much more likely to buy in your market. Just show some really nice photos and say, why aren't you a homeowner yet? Why aren't you a homeowner yet? Question mark. And then you spell out right now we have interest rates that are hitting 50 year lows. This is a fantastic time to be a homeowner. If you've ever wondered if you can own a home, give me a call today. Something super simple, but you're going to post that up on social media. The third thing you can do is to target areas of your city where you know there's renters that are paying higher rents, maybe uh, an apartment complex, a condo complex where there's a lot of renters or a high rise if you're in a city where you know people are paying a premium for their rents. Get the phone numbers, maybe by using one of our partner companies like Red X and pinpoint on a map that neighborhood or that building and make some calls to those folks by simply saying, hey, this is uh, Jim Remley with ABC Real Estate. I see you are uh, renting a property at 123 Johnson Street. Is that right? And they'll say, yes, you know, I found um, a property that's not too far from me, a couple blocks away that just came on the market. It's a new townhouse and it's perfect for a first time home buyer. That's the reason for my call. Just wondering, would you ever consider uh, purchasing a home instead of renting? Now, every single renter on the planet definitely has thought about buying a house, but their biggest obstacle in most of their minds is their down payment. Most renters assume you have to have 10, 20, 30% down. We know as realtors, that's not the case. And a lot of times it's the education that we need to bring to them to help them get over the hump. But there's three things to think about and start targeting those first time home buyers. You can really unlock a lot of business for yourself. Have a great day, good selling, and I'll see you next time over at eRealEstateCoach.com.